Hello students. Today I will explain about the uh, formation of Im image in a concave mirror for different positions of the object. Okay. So number one, number A. When the object is at infinity and the rays coming from it are parallel to the principal axis. So uh, you have we have to consider that we consider that the when the object is at infinity. Infinity means at very far place from the mirror. Okay, and the rays coming from the objects are what parallel, parallel to the principal axis. Okay, in that case, you see, you can see here these are the incident rays, and these incident rays are what parallel to the principal axis. Which is principal axis? This line. This line is a CP line. This CP line hmm, is called what principal axis. And these are the incident rays. These incident incident rays are coming from the uh, object which is at infinity. So when the uh, parallel rays incident on a concave mirror, then after reflection, they meet at a point on the principal axis, and this point is what principal focus. Okay. So you will we we obtain we obtain the image of the object at point F. Clear. So now the characteristics of the image. Number one, the re image is real. So real means you can obtain it on a screen, and uh, you can see these are the reflected rays. Huh? They are actually intersecting each other at that point now. So the image is real. Number two, the image is inverted. Okay, so if the object is in the upward direction, then the image will be in the downward direction. That is considered as image is inverted. Number three, the image is diminished to a point. If the object may be very large in the uh, at infinity, but the size of the image is diminished, means very small. Number four, the image is formed at the principal focus in front of the concave mirror. So we have seen here, no? in the the image has formed at the principal focus, and this focus is what in front of the concave mirror. So this is the number four characteristics of the image clear next number b when the object is at infinity but the rays are coming from it are not parallel to the principal axis so what is written in this number b that maybe the object at infinity maybe the incident rays coming towards the concave mirror are parallel but it it may not be parallel to the principal axis Okay, so when the incident rays are not parallel to the principal axis, then then they after reflection they meet at a point. Okay, they meet at a point, and that point lie in a plane. That point lie in a plane that is passing through the principal focus, and that plane is called what focal plane. Okay, so you can see here these are the incident rays. Uh, they have been incident on the concave mirror and after reflection they meet at point a1 okay i can give name a1 uh, so this a1 f a1 f is the image of the object object which is at infinity and this object a1 f is lying in a plane that is plane is called focal plane what is focal plane focal plane is a plane which is passing through the principal focus and perpendicular to the principal axis okay so this is the image e1 f is the image of the object which is at infinity and what is the case that the incident rays are not parallel uh, they are parallel but they are not parallel to the principal axis okay incident rays are parallel each other but they are not parallel to the principal axis number next the characteristics of the image so number one the image is real so you see these are the reflected rays they actually meet each other at a point a1 f so they are meeting actually now so that is why image is real number two the image is inverted obviously you can see here the image is in the downward direction a1 f in the downward direction now i have shown by arrow the object is in the upward direction but the image is in the downward direction that is why the image is inverted Number three, the image is highly diminished. Okay, as the object is at very in a object is at infinity, hmm, the size of the object may be very large, but the size of the image, even if it is very small compared to the object. 
that's that is why it is called image is highly diminished number four the image is formed in the plane of the principal focus in front of the concave mirror so this focal plane that is in front of the concave mirror and the image is formed in the plane okay so in the plane means the focal plane which is passing through the principal focus clear so this is about the characteristics of the image form number c when the object is at uh, object is beyond the center of curvature but is not at infinity so this is c for center of curvature f for principal focus p for pole as you have already learned and a b is the object as it is mentioned that the object is beyond the center of curvature obviously you can see here a b is the object which is beyond the center of curvature but the object is not infinity yes obviously we can see here the object is not at infinity but it is beyond the center of curvature so in this case as we have learned the rules of drawing a con uh, drawing the rules for drawing image for a concave mirror uh, we consider two incident rays from the tip of the object a so this a z is a one incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis and after reflection they pass to the principal focus okay so this is one incident ray another incident ray here that is coming from the tip of the object and passing through the center of curvature and it is reflected back in the same path okay so why because this ray the incident ray coming uh, passing through your center of curvature is incident on the concave mirror normally that is why it is reflected back along the same path clear so this the two reflected rays they intersect each other at a one point that name is given a1 and we draw a perpendicular from this tip on the principal axis that is b1 so this a1 b1 is the image of the object av clear so what is a1 b1 it is the image of the object av so now write the characteristics what are the characteristics of the image number one the image is real yes why image is real because the reflected rays actually intersect each other that is why the image is real number two the image is inverted obviously you see the a b is in the upward direction but a 1 b 1 is the in the downward direction that is why image is inverted number three the image is diminished diminished means small in size okay as you can see here a b size a b is object and size of a b is large but a 1 b 1 is smaller okay if you compare this is the object and this is the image so if you compare the size of the image is smaller to that of the object that is why image is diminished <clears throat> number four the image is between c and f what is c center of curvature and focus okay so you can see here a1 b1 this is b1 is the position of the position b1 is the position of the image and this position lie in between center of curvature and focus okay so image is between c and f in front of the concave mirror obviously your center of curvature and focus both are uh, in front of the concave mirror this was about the characteristics of the image okay number d when the object is at the center of curvature of the concave mirror okay so this point c is the center of curvature and when the object is in this position a b is the object that is the object is at center of curvature then this incident rays this incident rays a z which is parallel to the principal axis it will pass through the focus another incident ray this incident ray passing through the focus uh, after incident reflected parallel as a parallel to the principal axis so these two reflected rays uh, they intersect each other at the point a1 and from this point a1 if we drawn one perpendicular over the principal axis that is a1 b1 then we get the image of the object a b so what is the image here a1 b1 and what is the object a b okay so we can see that object and the image both are at the same point where the point is at the center of curvature that means we have learned that if the object is at the center of curvature then the image is also at the same point that is center of curvature okay so now the characteristics of the image the image is real yes this reflected rays they are intersecting each other 
therefore uh, actually therefore the image is real number two the image is inverted yes the object is in the upward direction but image is in the downward that's why the image is inverted number three the image is of the same size as the object if the object size is 2 cm then image size also 2 cm number four the image is formed at the center of curvature in front of the concave mirror obviously this center of curvature is in front of the concave mirror and we learn we, uh, we find the image is at the center of curvature okay next number e so when the object is in between the center of curvature and the principal focus where is the object in between center of curvature and principal focus so this is your concave mirror center of curvature f for focus and p for pole so object is lying between what center of curvature and focus so this is center of curvature and this is focus and a b is the object so where is the a b object in between center of curvature and <coughs> in center of curvature and focus the incident is from the tip of the objects first is your ae okay so what is the ae a e is the incident ray and after reflection the reflected ray is passing through your center of curvature so this is your one first reflected ray another incident ray that is this one ad this is parallel to the principal axis so after reflect after reflection this reflected ray is passing through your focus okay where this is passing through your focus okay so these two in reflected rays they intersect each other at point a1 and from point a1 we drawn one perpendicular over the principal axis this a1 b1 is the image of the object a b so, okay so where what is a b a b is the object between center of curvature and principal focus the incident rays after reflection first ray passing through your center of curvature and the second ray after reflection passing through your focus and they actually intersect each other and at point a1 and from this a1 we draw one perpendicular over the principal axis that is b1 this a1 b1 is the image of the object a b so from this diagram you can write the characteristics of the image number one the image is real yes these two these two reflected rays actually intersect each other so the image is real number two the image is inverted obviously the image is in the downward direction so the image is inverted number three the image is enlarged enlarged means the size is large okay magnified here a b is the object size of the object is smaller but size of the image is larger compared to the object so the image is enlarged number four the image is formed beyond the center of curvature in front of the concave mirror where is the position of the object b1 so you see the b1 size is beyond the center of curvature but in front of the concave mirror so it is said that image is formed beyond the center of curvature in front of the concave mirror clear number f when the object is at the principal focus of a concave mirror now uh, we consider the position of the object to be at the principal focus okay object is at principal focus of the concave mirror so two incident rays from the tip of the object we consider first incident ray is from the tip ae and after reflection passing through your center of curvature another incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis after reflection passing through the principal focus so these two reflected rays what well, they seem to be parallel so they will not intersect each other and they will where they will meet they will meet at infinity so the position of the image will be at infinity and size of the image will be what will be very very large why because the position of the object is at focus that means you learn that when the object is at infinity at focus then the position of the image is at infinity so what are the characteristics of the image the image is real so <clears throat> these two reflected rays they will meet each other at infinity so the image is real number two the image is inverted inverted means in the downward direction as the object is in the upward direction number three the image is highly enlarged highly enlarged means very very large compared to your size of the object number four the image is in is formed at infinity in front of the concave mirror 
we have already learned that these two reflected rays will meet each other at infinity that is why the position of the image means is where at infinity and it is in front of the concave mirror so these these are the characteristics of the image okay so last last topic about the formation of image okay so when the object is in between the principal focus and pole of the concave mirror so this p is your pole f is your focus so where is the object object is between the pole and focus when the object is in between then what what happens you see so one incident ray which has incident the mirror at a point suppose e and after reflection passing through your center of curvature why because we assume that this incident ray incident the mirror normally and that's why after reflection it is passing through your center of curvature another incident ray this ap is parallel to the principal axis therefore after reflection it will pass through principal focus okay so but you can see these two reflected rays they are what diverging hmm? the gap between these two rays are increasing as you move more away from the from here okay so that means we can simply say that these two ray will never intersect each other because they are actually diverging each other hence when you look from this side this is we have thrown one eye just consider this is if you place your eye here then you will find that these two reflectors reflected rays they appear they appear to meet each other in the backward direction of the concave mirror this a this, this, this line we have drawn in the backward direction of the concave mirror at a1 b1 so this a1 is the position of the image of the object a b okay a1 b1 is the image of the object a b so a1 b1 is the image of the object a b okay so this image has been formed beyond the beyond the what mirror concave mirror so uh, we can write, write now we can write the characteristics of the image the image is partial why the image is partial because this reflected rays does not intersect each other but they appear to intersect only if you draw them in the backward direction okay so the image is partial number two the image is erect obviously the image a1 b1 is also in the upper direction that's why the image is erect the AB is also in the upper direction, A1, B1 is also in the upper direction. So the image is erect. Okay. Number three, the image is magnified. As magnified means large in comparison to the object. So you see here A1, B1 size of the object is larger compared to the object size. Number four, the image is formed behind a concave mirror. Yes, you can see here that is the image has been formed behind the concave mirror. Okay, so these were the characteristics of the image. The uses of concave mirror. So number one, it is used as a saving mirror. Okay, it is used as a saving mirror. Why? Because the image that can be formed by concave mirrors are what? Enlarged, erect. No? So that's why it is used as also saving mirrors. Number two, it is used as a reflector in the headlights of a automobile such as cars, trucks. So that means concave mirrors are also used as a in the headlights of the automobiles. Number three, it is used by the doctors to focus a parallel beam of light on a small area, especially for the examination of throat, ear, nose, teeth, etc. So it is one of the advantages that is that these concave mirrors that can form a parallel beam of light and which is very helpful for the doctors. So doctors use them for their examination of throat, ear, nose, etc. Number four, the concave mirror is used as a reflector in this type solar cookers and solar furnace so concave mirrors they can come that can converse the uh, reflect incident is no that's why it is also used in the uh, solar cookers solar cookers means where the sunlights are used for cookings and solar furnace means the uh, devices which are which use your uh, sunlight to to make them concentrated for heating purposes in case of some industry okay that means the concave mirrors are used in solar cookers and also in solar furnace as a reflector. This way the concave uses of concave mirrors. Okay. Thank you.